Hello and welcome. Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. Oh my gosh, is it? I'm happy to be back. And there have been a lot of things that have just just been really dumb that have kept me from doing some things. Um, I had to uninstall, reinstall my mic, which worked everywhere else, but through OBS. No idea why. Um, so first take of the Hatikva missions went totally silent. No words. And I couldn't figure it out. Um, the second take for Hatikva's missions were unsatisfactory for me. And then the third take, um, I was just drained of Hatikva missions. Okay. Uh, drained of Hatikva missions. Also the randomness of stations that you have to travel to that in the, in the, in the video, in the video, um, we had to go all the way to this station, right? Which blew my mind because in take one and two, never had to go this far. Um, we were, we, well, okay. So I went to silent witness, um, for both, uh, take one and two. Um, and then we kind of stuck around silent witness, um, take two, we did go into H H Heretic's End, which in take three got me to the idea of this gate is so much closer, let's go through this gate and not go highway and then through here. Um, I thought just travel time distance would, would work better that way. Um, we did do a lot of teleporting, uh, which I didn't do in takes one and two. That's how drained I was. I was just like, I just want to, I just, I just want to hop from one ship to another. Um, did that. And then in take three, uh, take three was, um, posted on Friday, right? It was posted on a Friday. It was supposed to be posted on a Wednesday, but YouTube said still processing two minutes left, still processing. Two minutes left, still processing, two minutes left. And I said, what is going on? YouTube, what is, what's happening? And then what I figured out was my editing software hadn't fully completed the job for YouTube to upload it. And then YouTube kind of got in this weird cycle of it failure. Um, so then I had to fix that and it came out Friday on a Friday. Well, you know, the last Friday that passed, if you're watching this, when this video comes out, but if you're not, guess what? You're going to have to figure it out, man, lady, person. <clears throat> um, but speaking, speaking past that, we do have a good bit of news. And when I say news, if you go to Egosoft or if you go to Steam and you go to the game and you click on news and you're going to see a, a, a snippet of, are you new to X4 Foundations? We have a video in that. I was, I was, oh, I was, I was so happy to see that. I was like, oh my God, that is, that is awesome. That is awesome. We got, we got mentioned in something official. And it's not the first time that we've had a video pop up in somebody else's thing, right? Um, Rugged Gamer uh, had one of our videos. It was one of the Boron videos. I remember the uh, uh, the thumbnail. It's of the uh, <laughs> it's of the the Boron. I want to say it's the equipment dock, but all their docks are that weird um, kind of triangle ish kind of shape. Um, he hover, well, that, that video stayed up on one of his videos for like a minute. 
So, I mean, we're out there and it really it brings me to you guys because you guys, um, the older folk in the channel, you guys, not not by age, OK, not by age. Um, demographics for this channel are mind blowingly very similar to my age where we're going from um, 30 to to 55 in most parts of the world. Um, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in my fifties. I'm, you know, <clears throat> closer to 30. God, I wish I was in my twenties again. That'd be nice. But it really, it, it really brings me back to you guys because you guys, br you, you guys have grown this channel. Um, it, it's, it, it, it's a big part of, of you guys because I don't ask you to subscribe. I I just can't. I it, it doesn't it feels unnatural to me to ask you guys to subscribe. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And guess what? I'm still going to be doing this um because it's it's fun. Maybe not the problems with editing sometimes, but it's 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 fun. It's fun. And and it, it's just it brought a smile on my face. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to, to all of you. Thank you to all of you. The the new people that are coming in. Thank you to you, too. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. There's lots of videos, lots of dumb things that I do. Um, enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I'm pretty sure there's a video somewhere in this library that you're going to enjoy. Thank you to all of you. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been awesome. Um, but update for the universe before I get, you know, teary eyed and cry and like I'm at a SAG award or something. <laughs> that was dumb. All right. Well, update for the universe. Now, we did do some expanding within the universe and our expansions are in the terms of stations. Now, we have two new stations. We have Antigone Memorial, and then we have Black Hole Sun. Now, these stations came about because of holes in the supply chain. Specifically, um, three specific holes. All parts. Okay, well, when I count, it's two holes, but in... Two different sections of the galaxy, all right? Two different sections, two holes. All parts um, for... Oh, ah, pushing buttons again. I should stop doing that. Um, hull parts for Argon and Antigone, and then advanced electronics for the HOP and Antigone. Now, where the problem's coming in for Antigone is in... in Antigone Memorial specifically um, because they are under constant constant attack and we don't see it now but the little pyramid boys and the pyramid guys are their station or outpost is roughly in this corner somewhere in this corner um, but they have been a constant nuisance for Antigone look at that gone half destroyed under attack been under attacks and it's really hindering supply here in Antigone Memorial so this station is all about refined metals to be able to get the refined metals out to the stations that can produce hull parts and what we'll probably do with this station is we'll make this a hull part station um, later down the road. Um, just so we have more of, you know, what we can do. We can, let's see, we got hydrogen, helium, we'd have to mine over here. Because I think we need graphene, if I'm right. Yeah, 
graphene refined metals. So we'd have to we'd have to produce graphene within Tiggity Memorial as well, which isn't a hard thing to do. Um, we will have to put in check the little pyramid boys because they have to stop. They will have to stop. Um, the Xenon have been an ever constant threat. Uh, it's a good grouping of peas right there. They have, they have made me rethink Flashpoint. Um, Flashpoint, if you remember the rant rave video, um, and we talked about patrol, the patrol order, um, there's been some comments back and forth, uh, uh, with defending sectors and using patrol fleets, using fleets. In one of my responses to a comment, I made... I said, I like to have a defense fleet hold a gate and then I want the flexibility of moving that fleet to the next sector and the next gate to then push that threat back. That's not something I had in Second Contact Flashpoint. We had the large fleet patrol the sector, which was an issue. That was issue arguably number one. Um, because what had happened was we had one of the patrol ships, one of the Gorgons with the Nodans, completely destroyed within one, two minutes, gone. And I remember the feed going, Nodan destroyed, Gorgon destroyed, Nodan, Nodan, Nodan. And it was like, what, what happened? And it was because I wasn't controlling the flow of Xenon coming through the gate, which we're doing now. Now we're doing this with two different, two different fleets. We're using the, the S and M fleet with the Stork. And then we're also using an L fleet with a Behemoth and a, a Phoenix, which is uh, patrolling closer to the gate. And then we have the S fleet. Where is your order? There it is. A little further away, a little larger. Now, the mindset behind this is LVL and then SMVSM. So, large ship comes in, the large ships engage. Um, the fighters come in with frigate support, frigates, fighters engage further afield because when they come through the gate, they're going for the highway. Hopefully we can catch them. And so far, this has been good, except for the point where we lost in Ares. Now, we have a limited number of Ares because of the limitations of the supply chain. Um, we supplemented that with Eclipse, which actually have been doing fine. They, they really have. Um, the one ship that has surpassed all expectations is the Buzzard. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. I don't like the Lizard Boys. Um, and it's not like a, a, a deep hatred. Um, it's just I don't I don't think their ships are are that great. Uh, their weapons are underpowered. You could go to the, um, the faction video with the, the weapons and turrets, and you can take a look at that. Um, but I just don't, I don't have, I don't have their mentality for shipbuilding. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't push it. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. But I will say that the buzzard has has changed some of that. It's also changed um, what I think about certain ships. Um, and we're going to be coming out with a with another video. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, what's it called? I can't remember the ship. The thesis, Theseus, whatever. 
um, this ship. Now, we're looking at 42 hull. Let's give you just engines and whatever. Looking at 42 hull, right? Let's compare that to... Got a buzzard vanguard, I think. 41. So it's outdone the buzzard, right? Buzzard just has more shields. Um, Ares. One more weapon. Three more shields. 47. Let's look at the clips real quick. 4,000. The eclipse has... One more shield, right? Yeah, one more shield and one more weapon slot. I might... I might get... Get the Theseus. 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 Uh, the Theseus. Um, and put that in the defense fleet. I'm very kind of curious how that will work now. Uh, it's not a ship I've ever used. I've never really used the Buzzard either, but the Buzzard has surpassed all expectations. I am very thrilled about the buzzard, and it's made me think about some other ships. Theseus, number one. Uh, we'll see, we'll throw that in the fleet, and we'll see how that works. Um, so we did have to change up our, our fleet makeup a little bit. We changed our orders here to control the flow, but we did not give up on patrolling. How we are doing patrolling is different. Now, the patrols is one fleet, three different groups. So the first group is the Gorgon with the Nodans. Um, and the reason behind this is because the Gorgon doesn't hold as many drones as the Cerberus. That being said, yes... You are correct. I took the idea from the game itself. I they're drone drone Cerberuses. Um, you see them floating around in your universe all the time, and I said, "Why not? That's a great idea. Let's try it out." And they've done well. They've done well. It, there's not been. I haven't had an issue with them. I really haven't. Um, so far, we just need to build out the patrol fleets, maybe a few more Cerberuses with drones, or maybe even Gorgon with a, a few extra ships uh, to patrol around, because these fleets, they catch most of everything. But they don't always catch everything. Um, and then when we get... Uh, what we can do at that point is we can move these... Look at that guy. Ugh. Uh, we can actually move the patrol fleets into Antigone Memorial and help quell um, the little pyramid boys. And at that point, we might actually put a defense station here and be able to police the sector as well. And then hopefully we'll just answer distress calls if need be. Um, hopefully we can have a, a big enough presence there. Uh, just because I feel that Antigone are going to be a little bit of a drain based off of Little Pyramid Boys and these guys. Xenon. We do not like them, Sam I am. I wish they would go to hell with a ham. A decent enough rhyme. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the that's the update. We've had some things happen. In game, out of game, we've had good things happen. Thank you, Egosoft. Thumbs up to you. Um, now, our next video is going to be a Let's Talk. Uh, we're going to go over some things that I don't do, but I've mentioned and I've shown a few different times. And for those of you that are very um, faction centric in your gameplay, this can help you. Um, but we're going to get into that in the in, in the next video coming up but this is going to be skillet signing out i'm glad to you know figure out my issues iron them out thank you egosoft thank you everyone that has joined thank you for everyone that has watched thank you for being here you guys are amazing i'll check you guys again